The new QUT Science and Engineering Centre opened in 2013 for the university community. After some years of planning and construction, staff and students are excited to experience the centre's innovative and purpose-built facilities. The building has been designed with four major concepts as a guiding force. To use science and technology to engage the interest of the public and potential students. To create spaces where researchers can work together. To establish several state-of-the-art facilities and laboratories. And most importantly, to provide students with every resource necessary to stimulate their education. Just inside the impressive entry doors is The Cube, one of the world's largest digital interactive learning and display spaces. It is part digital display and part science lab, with content that provides a visual and interactive representation of QUT's research. Through workshops, labs and digital tours, The Cube transforms the way high school students engage with learning in science, technology, engineering and mathematics. In terms of attraction, it's a physical attraction too. If you're passing by, The Cube is designed to sparkle and bring you in. The Cube consists of six separate display zones, the largest of which is a spectacular 46 feet long by nearly 30 feet high. The zones are split between edge-blended projected images on top and dozens of interactive multi-touch monitors lower down. It's a place that's going to showcase science and technology. It's a place that's going to inspire people because you can tell by just the people behind us now. I mean, they come around the corner and they go, wow, because it is actually inspiring. There's no doubt about it. The Cube is just one of the many features in the Science and Engineering Centre designed to provide an inspiring, explorative and hands-on experience of QUT's research. By taking a tour through the viewing galleries surrounding the research labs, visitors can experience how researchers involve the community in their work. The galleries were incorporated into the design of the centre to raise awareness of QUT's research capabilities as well as a community interest in science. There's no room here for shy scientists in the laboratory. They'll be seen and heard and that's very much part of the design intent. Instead of traditional offices for each person, the open plan spaces are an important design element. The advantage of having research spaces built in an open plan is to encourage collaboration between researchers. Groups of related researchers can be brought together in a neighbourhood and located near another cluster or neighbourhood. Of course you can have open plan in a, in a small environment but if you have uh, a large enough uh, facility such as this you can then at the same time build a critical mass of of researchers that have their core knowledge within a specific discipline but who might then engage and collaborate across those disciplines and develop an interdisciplinary uh, cohort of activity. And of course that's the reason we have this institute. The institute is driving towards interdisciplinary research in a collaborative fashion to address the, the, t the grand challenges that we have um, in this century. The four immersive learning spaces feature a unique visual canvas. Instead of standard projection screens with only one source to a projector, any image can be placed, scaled or stretched anywhere across the entire front wall. These theatres are really about empowering students. So what's unique about them is we've taken a tiered theatre and we've made them a collaborative, engaging space. These new learning spaces hold up to 250 students. They are equipped with wireless internet, sufficient for each student to bring their own device to engage with the lecturer and as part of a study group. This engagement is enhanced with interactive tools, including Go Soapbox, which allows polling, sharing of ideas and raising questions with the lecturer during the session. This is P505 one of our new collaborative learning spaces. Each collaborative learning space has a standard podium. The podium has a document camera, it has radio mics for both sound reinforcement and audio capture, 
It has lecture capture provided by an appliance device. It has a house PC with the standard suite of software applications on it and has an AMX controller which allows you to bring your own laptop or device and connect it to the system. To share content with the student screens, the image from the podium can be easily sent to all cows or collaborative workstations. The cow changes the locus of control in the room from being lecturer driven to being controlled by the groups of students accessing each cow. The cow is the digital fireplace or the interface between the students and the rest of the class. Students can access material either from the internet, from their learning shell, or they can generate the material from within their group. This is a wonderful, inviting, collaborative environment that has met the design intent.